Hi, and welcome back. I'd like to take you on an interior tour of this Renegade Explorer bunkhouse model that we have. This has a tile floor and a tiled entryway, and as you enter the coach, you can take your shoes off and kick them underneath one of the stairs. Entering this coach, you can really see how large the floor plan is. And we try to bring in flex steel furniture. We just really think it's, it's the best furniture on the market. And here you can see the height of bed sleeper. Um, this does fold out into an air bed. It also has three seat belts in it so that you can carry extra passengers with you if you'd like. Now we're gonna move over to the flex steel dinette. And I can't say enough good about this dinette. It has storage underneath. Um, here you can see we slid the drawers out. But the real important thing to notice is there's no post in the middle of the table, so when you slide in, you're not tangling your feet around a post. The table's really rigid, so if you go to pull yourself up from the table, you can use the table. We're gonna pan around a little more and talk a little bit about the lighting levels. Um, here you can see the wall sconces and the LED lights above. It's real nice to be able to set the tone or the mood uh, based on lights. Renegade's done a great job. You have floor lighting, you got wall sconces, you got overhead lights, and you got reading lights. So you can really vary the different levels of lighting in the coach. Now we're gonna take you up into the uh, control panels in the front of the coach here. And this first cabinet that we're gonna open houses the stereo, a DVD, and a Blu-ray player. And then above that is your DirecTV satellite receivers. We can also change this out for DISH. Renegade has run air conditioning ducts behind these so that all the components stay cool. They're not overheating as you're using them. Now we're going to open up the front cabinet here, and this is where the auto jacks are, the controls for that, the generator start. There's a uh, digital thermostat in here for the temperature control. The control's here, but the sensors are throughout the coach that sense the temperature and turn them on and off. You also have the auto gen start feature right there, the camper slides. What I really like about this cabinet is that you can operate it standing up, so it's right at eye level, so it's really easy to see each of all of the components. And of course, we have our IWS Advantage package, and we break each component down into a video and show you how to use them. Now as we move into the last cabinet, this is, we call it the IWS gaming prep package. And here we have RCA jacks, USB connection, and an HDMI connection, and 110 outlets. You can set a Xbox or a PlayStation in here and plug it in and then it'll play through the TV. This little cabinet is to the right as you come up the stairs, and it's a nice little spot just to put your uh, car keys. Here we're going to go ahead and move the TV out. It's on a pivoting mount so you can pivot it, tilt it forward or back and move it in and out. Um, works really good in this coach. Here we're showing you the flex steel recliner and what I really like about this is you get the opportunity when you're parked to take the recliner out and you can move it back by the dinette if you want and then you'd have a nice place to kick back and watch TV. Now we're going to talk about the kitchen or the galley if you will. As you can see, it has stainless steel, microwave, um, solid surface countertops. And the, the sink we're going to show you here is a stainless steel deep residential sink. It has a stainless steel stove. Here's a shot of the 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. The ice maker is in this bottom tray down here. It's got a big tub so you can have ice for your drinks or for your coolers. Now we're going to move into the bunk bed area and these beds are 30 inches wide and 80 inches long. There's lots of room for people, you know, in the six foot range, you can sleep in there very comfortably. Also notice there's a, a DVD player and a satellite television in each of the bunks. It folds up and out of the way. It has a quilted mattress in it. 
Here's the windows with day and night shades. There's also reading lights and then there's just uh, LED lights in the windows so that you can have different lighting levels. Each bunk bed has a USB port here and a 110 outlet so you can charge a cell phone or your kids could play on a gaming station. Now here what we've done is we've removed the mattress out of the bunk and this would be a great space even if you're not taking passengers to put a curtain rod in here and you could have this as extra storage. Just fold the TV up and you'll have extra place for luggage. Um, it's just a really useful space. Now we're going to move into the bathroom area. Here you can see the vessel bowl and the stainless steel faucet. The lights above the vanity are LED lights. All the cabinets in here are solid maple construction. This has the macerator uh, porcelain toilet, so it's just like home. You know, there's no pumping or anything like that. You just push a button. Here's the full-size shower, and this has uh, actual sliding glass doors in it. It also has a skylight above it. You know, we, Marty's became our shower model, and he's right at six foot, and you can see there's lots of room in there for him. We're trying to illustrate how much space there is between the bunks and the sh bathroom. And then when you open up the doors, the space really opens up. So even if you're not gonna use the bunk beds, it's, it just really opens up your living space by having them bunk beds in there or places to store stuff. Here we're gonna show you the closet by above the uh, washer and dryer. Here's the all-in-one washer and dryer in it. We can also do a stacked unit if you want, but on this coach, we've chose to go this route. Here's some of the overhead storage uh, above the bed. Now we're gonna show you the lighting levels. There's window accent lighting, there's LED reading lights. Um, as I always point out, there's Renegade's done a good job of giving you a 110 outlet next to the bed and USB ports to charge your phone. Here's a shot looking forward at the TV in the bedroom and all of the cabinet space that's available in the master bedroom. As you can see, Renegade uses full length drawer slides on their drawers. It's really important over the time and the life of a coach. They put lights inside of the closets here so when you open up the doors, the lights come on so you can see your clothes inside of the closet. This also passes through, we're gonna go in here a little bit and there's a pass through behind the television. Now we're gonna move back up into the cab again and show you the passenger seat swivels around. Uh, it makes it really nice to be able to have another seat in there if you have guests. Here's a shot of the touchscreen navigation and I wanna point out that each one of these features we have, when you buy a coach from us, we'll provide you with an iPad with our IWS Advantage package on it. And within that iPad, we're gonna break down the operation of each of these things on a small video. So if you're out on the road and you know, you're a little unsure of how to program something, you can watch this video. This coach does have a handheld CB in it. It has a flex steel heated seats. It seems like everybody that drives them comes back and just comments on about how easy it was to drive and how safe they feel. I hope you get a chance to stop by and see it in person. Thanks for your time.